Hi, I'm Kai, and today we have a look how we can address safety PLC cards in ePlan automatically. For example, the Siemens safety PLC cards occupy additional I.O. ranges for internal diagnostics. What does it mean when you have, for example, an I.O. card, for example, digital input with eight digital inputs, it occupies one byte. But internally, it occupies more, and an input card also occupies output. That means for the next card, for example an output card, it cannot start with 0.0, .0 or with the first byte. There is a gap between these two address ranges. And how to automate this in ePlan is part of this video. So stay tuned. So I have placed here a 6ES7526. This is a failsafe digital input card, 16 bits with the 1500 series. And we want to address this now. And the problem is that this card occupies more than just the 16 bits and therefore we have a look in the manual. And in the manual you have a address assignment for PLCs. You have two values. One is for the 300 and 400 series and the other one for the 1500 series. For sure we work here with the 1500 series and here you get an information about the occupied input range and in addition to the input range it also occupies an output range. The meaning of these numbers is that it's occupied from byte 0 to byte 8, so in total 9 input bytes, and from byte 0 to byte 4 on the output range, that means 5 output bytes. So this is something we need to add to our parts management in ePlan. And when we have a look here on this PLC card, I downloaded it from the data portal. And here we can search for PLC. You see that we have a property for PLC device data length input and output. And here we need to add the occupied input range and output range. You get also an explanation here. The value is in bits, what means it's um, occupied nine byte, what is basically 72 bits and it occupies five output bytes, what is 40 output bits. I click here apply and OK, say yes. And when we have now a look here on our card, you see that these values are also here. What means you can also set it manually in each card, but it makes more sense to add such values to the parts management. and. Now ePlan knows that this card occupies 72 bits on the input side and 40 bits on the output side. So what else we need to do? We click Apply and OK. And then I just copy this and paste it and put it on page 4. And I go to Number. So now you can see in my PLC navigator that I have now also car K11 and in the moment they have addresses 118 and 120 and now we want to address this with the input and output range. So we mark this in the PLC navigator and then we go to device and here to start address and here we set the start value for input and output. I set it to 50, click OK. And here on the preview, you see that the input card K10 starts with 50 and the output, uh, the input for K11 starts with 59 and output starts with 50 and 55 for the second card. So I click OK. What does it mean when we have a look on K10? It gets now automatically a starting address here on this property. And for K11, there is now the starting address 59. And from now we can mark it again and click address. And it doesn't matter what we set here, it will take now the input address from the starting address. So you can see here that it takes the 50, which we have selected before, and 59 for the second card. When we click OK, you see that here input 59 on K11 and on K10 it's input 50. I hope it makes you not confusing that this is 
Um, these are two cards, basically is one. You see that there's a cross-reference. I don't know why Siemens make this kind of macros now on this few instead of using one PLC box. But anyhow, this is one 16 input card and has now the address 50 to 51.7. And the other one starts with 59, goes to 60.7. If you have questions about how to address safety PLC cards, please write it down in the comment. If you liked this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.